Hey everyone, I'm Tim Lancaster with GrassWorks InstaTurf and I'm on a job site today where our Shear Force 10 high flow erosion control mat was recently installed and uh, evaluated as a low cost alternative to rock riprap. Now this is an active coal mine site in southern Indiana and they were looking at using this product in place of rock in a lot of their high flow drainage channels and outfall areas where they would normally use rock riprap. So we did an installation, test installation in a high flow channel. Um, this is the actual channel test section that I'm sitting on. Uh, this was installed last September. It's early September, 2019. And today we're into early April, 2020. So it's been in for a little less than seven months now. And I'm gonna give you a uh, a little tour of this site and show you how well the Shear Force 10 did and just why it was approved as an equivalent to rock riprap. For those of you unfamiliar with the InstaTurf Shear Force 10 product, it is a simulated turf high flow erosion control mat. Uh, some people may refer to this as a high performance turf reinforcement mat or TRM, uh, but this product is really much different than that. Uh, the high performance TRMs, uh, conventional TRMs, uh, typically don't provide a real high level of erosion protection until after they become established with vegetation. And this product provides a very high level of erosion protection as soon as it's installed. I mentioned a simulated turf, it's made from UV stabilized polyethylene and it's molded into one piece and then on the back or the bottom side of the turf is a lightweight geotextile fabric that's been specially designed to both uh, trap soil particles and seed beneath the mat, as well as allow for vegetation establishment up through the fabric itself. So this product is made to provide the initial erosion protection and as well as allow for vegetation establishment. And then the simulated turf actually reinforces the natural vegetation long-term. So this is the channel test section that we did with the Shear Force 10 product out on the coal mine site. And I am actually standing on the bed of the channel, the uh, drainage channel that we lined with the Shear Force 10 product. You can see the bed held up very well. Uh, it's very solid. There's no noticeable erosion or scour anywhere on the bed uh, where the uh, Shear Force 10 product was used. You can see the lead, left side slope here to my right as we're looking down the channel gradient. Uh, you got some vegetation starting to develop within the mat there. And then the right side slope uh, really took a beating. And this was a bit of an error on our part because when we did the installation of the Shear Force 10, uh, we thought we had the entire flow line, wetted perimeter of this channel uh, covered with the amount of flow expected uh, to occur in the, the channel itself. Well, we were wrong and we didn't go wide enough. And where we stopped the mat, you can see here, quite a ledge that's formed and quite a gully that is formed right next to the protected section. So this gully is about uh, anywhere from 12 to 24 inches deep and three to four feet wide at this point. And a lot of this damage actually occurred early on. Um, this occurred about a month and a half after the product was installed. So it uh, has actually gotten deeper and wider through the winter months. Uh, we had a tremendous amount of rain this, this past winter, um, probably close to 30 inches of rainfall uh, through the end of March. So this channel has taken a lot of flow on through the winter months, and it's certainly done a lot of damage to these very highly erodible soils out on this project site. However, with the Shear Force 10 protection, no damage, uh, no noticeable damage whatsoever.
give me a close-up view of the ledge that's formed uh, right at the edge of where we stopped the matting installation and this really shows you how well the shear force 10 uh, locked that channel bed into place so this is the channel test section and you can see just down stream or at the very end of our test section a very large scour hole that's formed uh, this hole's probably 24 to 30 inches deep and that uh, scour is now starting to undercut our test section the very tail end of our test section as you can see there but uh, it's held up pretty well through the winter months this scour hole actually formed back in late november and uh, it's just gotten deeper and wider since then. But as we go on down past the control section, and that control section uh, had no Shear Force 10 product on it, uh, and it was only uh, seeded and straw mulched at the time of uh, installation of the matting. As we go past the control section, you'll see a rock riprap check dam. And this rock riprap check dam, those rocks are uh, anywhere from 12 to 24 inches in diameter. A fairly large rock. And you can see that check dam is literally uh, blown out with all the flow that's occurred in this channel through the winter months. And just down from that test section, a very large gully that has formed. It's uh, anywhere from 3 to 4 feet deep and four to six feet wide. So this uh, really kind of uh, testifies to just how much flow uh, this channel has seen through the winter months. So just to give you a broader view of the channel test section, which is to the left, and in the center there is the control section where the scour hole is, and then just below that is the a rock rip wrap check dam and uh, on downstream from that is where the, the very large gully had formed. So this is a rock grape control structure uh, just downstream from the Shear Force 10 test section and this grape control structure is made up of 12 to 24 inch rock. Uh, unlike the check dam it's more flat it's basically basically there to slow flow velocity and provide uh, protection for the channel bed itself. But you can see some of these very large rock have physically been washed out of the uh, grade control structure, dislodged and moved downstream. So it really goes to show you just how much water flow uh, this channel is seeing through the winter months. So based on the Shear Force 10's performance uh, in this test and how well it locked this channel bed down through the winter months, uh, especially as compared to the rock check dam and grade control structure, uh, the Shear Force 10 was approved as an alternate to rock riprap on uh, other areas of the mine site and will be used in the future. Obviously, we've got some repair work to do here where we didn't use enough of the mat to begin with, but now it can be used uh, here as well as other uh, drainage channels and outfall areas on the site. Uh, if you need further information about the InstaTurf Shear Force 10 product or Shear Force 12 scour mat, uh, please visit us at www.insta-turf.com. Thanks for joining me today.